Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's presentation, we will be talking about the liver function test. So let's get started. So before we go into great detail about the liver function test itself, let's talk a little bit about what is the liver. The liver is an organ of the digestive system that sits on the right side of the abdomen. It weighs about 1.3 kilograms and is reddish brown in color. The liver is protected by the rib cage and has two sections, mainly the right and left lobes. The gallbladder sits under the liver along with parts of the pancreas and intestines. The liver and these organs work together to digest, absorb and process the food we ingest. The liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before it passes to the rest of the body. The liver also detoxifies chemicals and metabolizes drugs. As it does so, the liver secretes a material called bile that ends up back in the intestines. The liver is also involved in a process of making proteins important for blood clotting and other functions. So this is the picture on the left of the digestive system. And you can see here the liver which sits in the abdominal cavity and the ribs will be here and it's under the ribs and we have the right which is the larger lobe of the liver and the left lobes of the liver and beneath there we have the gallbladder and the pancreas. Now that we know what the liver is let's talk about what is a liver function test. The liver function test help determine the health and functionality of the liver by measuring the levels of liver specific proteins, enzymes and the bilirubin in the blood. And something to note is that a simple blood collection is required in order for a liver function test to be done. Why is a liver function test done? The liver function tests are used to screen for active liver infections such as hepatitis B or C viruses, to monitor the side effects of certain medications known to affect the liver that may cause a certain degree of liver toxicity, to monitor a patient who is currently known to have an active liver disease and to judge how well a particular treatment is working, to measure the degree of scarring or cirrhosis of the liver, to check the functioning of the liver in patients with hemochromatosis, Wilson's disease and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, to check the functioning of the liver in patients who are chronic alcoholics, and lastly, to check if the liver is functioning well in case the patient is experiencing some symptoms of a liver disorder. So this is basically a list of reasons why the liver function test is done. So in the last slide I said that one of the reasons a liver function test may be ordered is because the patient may experience some symptoms of a liver disorder. So what are some symptoms of a liver disorder? Weakness, fatigue or loss of energy, weight loss, Jaundice, which is the yellowing of the skin in the eyes. Symptoms of nephrotic syndrome, such as swelling around the eyes, the belly, and the legs. Discolored bodily discharge, such as dark urine and light stools. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. So these are all symptoms of a liver disorder. And you can see here in the picture at the bottom, this is the normal skin color, and in jaundice, uh, we have the yellowing of the skin and that is due to the excess of bilirubin. I've actually done a video on jaundice and bilirubin and I'll put a link in the description for that if you're more interested in knowing what that's all about. So now let's talk about the types of liver function tests. The commonly used tests to assess the liver function are the alanine transaminase or ALT, aspartate aminotransferase or AST, the alkaline phosphatase or ALP, the blood albumin count and the bilirubin level testing. The ALT, AST and AP tests measure specific enzymes that the liver releases in response to damage or disease and the albumin and bilirubin tests measure how well the liver is creating albumin, a protein that is normally made in the liver, and how well it disposes of bilirubin which is a waste product of blood which is usually produced by the liver in the breakdown of the hemoglobin protein in old red blood cells. So now let's talk about the normal values of the liver function tests. 
the alanine transaminase, or ALT, has a normal value of 5 to 40 international units per liter. The aspartate aminotransferase, or AST, has a normal value of 5 to 37 international units per liter. The alkaline phosphatase level, or the ALP level, is usually 44 to 147 international units per liter. The albumin is 3.5 to 5.5 grams per deciliter. And the bilirubin, which has a normal value of 0.2 to 1 milligrams per deciliter. So now let's take each of these tests step by step and explain them further. The alanine transaminase, or ALT. An alanine aminotransferase test measures the amount of this enzyme in the blood. ALT is found mainly in the liver, but also in smaller amounts in the kidneys, heart, muscles, and pancreas. The ALT is measured to see if the liver is damaged or diseased. Low levels of ALT are normally found in the blood, but when the liver is damaged or diseased, it releases large amounts of ALT into the bloodstream, which is detectable on a liver function test. Most increases in ALT levels are caused by liver damage. So at the bottom you can see the healthy liver, and these are the stages of liver damage. Usually we have the fatty liver, which is the next step. After the fatty liver, we usually have uh, hepatitis, which is the inflammation of the liver, and then we go into liver fibrosis, and then our liver becomes cirrhotic. And with each step of liver damage, those ALT levels are going to get worse and worse. Aspartate aminotransferase, or AST. An aspartate aminotransferase test measures the amount of this enzyme in the blood. AST is normally found in red blood cells, liver, heart, muscle tissue, pancreas, and kidneys. When the liver is damaged, large amounts of AST enter the blood, and the amount of AST in the blood is directly related to the extent of tissue damage in the liver. In severe damage, AST levels rise from 6 to 10 hours and remain high for about 4 days. So the AST is also an enzyme which will be found in large amounts similarly to the ALT which also increases in large amounts in the blood when the liver has a disease or disorder. The alkaline phosphatase or ALP test. An alkaline phosphatase test measures the amount of this enzyme in the blood. ALP is mostly made in the liver and in the bone, with some of it made in the intestines and the kidneys. It is also made by the placenta of a pregnant woman. The liver makes more ALP than any other organs or the bones. Some conditions cause large amounts of ALP in the blood. Some of these conditions include damaged liver cells or liver disease, rapid bone growth, which occurs during puberty, bone disease, such as Paget's disease or cancer that is spread to the bones, a disease that affects how much calcium in the blood, which is called hyperparathyroidism, or a vitamin D deficiency. So the main thing that you guys need to take from this slide is that the ALP levels will increase in an active liver disease, or if we have a problem with the liver, this enzyme in the blood is going to increase. The albumin levels. Albumin is made mainly in the liver. It helps keep the blood from leaking out of the blood vessels. Albumin also helps carry some medicines and other substances through the blood and is important for tissue growth and healing. In a liver that is diseased or unable to function well, the albumin levels will be very low. So in a normal case, the liver is the main production site for albumin. And if we have a disease or disorder in that liver, it's not going to be able to function that well in the production of albumin. So these albumin blood levels will be very low. Bilirubin. A bilirubin test measures the amount of bilirubin in a blood sample. Bilirubin is produced when the liver breaks down old red blood cells. High bilirubin levels in adults usually mean that there may be an underlying problem involving the red blood cells, the liver, or the gallbladder. If the liver has a disease, it will cause an elevation in the bilirubin, and the increase in bilirubin will cause the patient to experience jaundice, which is the yellowing of the skin and the mucosa 
as well as itchiness due to the bilirubin deposits which collect at the level of the skin. So I did do a separate video on bilirubin and jaundice and I will put a link in the description for it and I go into great detail there about how the heme catabolism system works. So if you guys are interested you can give that video a watch. But the sole point here is that in a liver function test if we have a diseased liver or a primary liver pathology we will have an increase in that bilirubin levels. So to review Patients who experience a primary active liver disease will experience a low functioning of their liver. So their liver won't be able to function that well if it has a disease. And the liver function test will show an increased alanine aminotransferase or ALT level. So that's that enzyme that will go up. An increased aspartate aminotransferase level. And that's that AST level, which is also an enzyme that will increase in the blood. We will also see an increased alkaline phosphatase level, so we're going to have an increase of this enzyme in the blood. We're going to have a decreased albumin level because remember that liver produces albumin and if it's got a problem, it's not going to be able to produce that protein anymore, that albumin protein. And we will have an increased bilirubin level. So basically, four tests, ALT, the AST, the ALP, and the bilirubin will be increased and the only thing decreasing here is the albumin level. So again, those normal values, all of these will increase in value. So all of these values will be higher than normal uh, in a patient with a primary liver disease and only the value of albumin uh, will be going down. So this value will be less than 3.5 usually. And these will all be greater than 40, greater than 37, greater than 147, and greater than 1. Because these are all increased in a liver disease. So just before we end the presentation, let's just talk a little bit about why liver function tests are necessary. And liver function tests can help determine if the liver is working correctly. The liver performs a number of vital body functions, such as removing contaminants from the blood, converting nutrients from the foods we eat, storing minerals and vitamins, regulating blood clotting, producing proteins, enzymes, and bile, and making factors that fight infections, removing bacteria from our blood, processing substances that could harm our body, and maintaining hormonal balances. So the liver is actually a very important organ of the body, and we can see now why it's so important, because it carries out a lot of these vital functions. So that brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found the video very interesting and informative. Please do like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. I will also be putting the link below for the video I did on bilirubin and jaundice. If you guys are interested, you can give that a watch. And take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.